Coming up on AQHA Presents, what's it like to cut? He's a two-time AQHA world champion. She's never even sat on a cutting horse. Can she learn to cut? American Quarter Horse Journal writer Holly Clanahan has watched plenty of cutting, but has never given it a try. That's about to change. She'll be getting a one-on-one -on -one lesson from Team Wrangler cutter, Teddy Johnson. And if she keeps oh. her hat on, she ah. might figure this thing out. Let's see if this writer can become a cutter. Learn to cut with Teddy Johnson up next on AQHA Presents. Welcome to AQHA Presents, the international report on the world's most versatile equine breed, the American Quarter Horse. Today I'm having a cutting lesson from Teddy Johnson, um, which, you know, Teddy's the man, so I'm really excited about getting to learn from him. And, uh, you know, I know he's got some great horses, so I'm really excited about getting to ride one of, the, one of his ponies. I know that she comes from Oklahoma and I know that she rides uh, English Equitation, so I, I don't have any problem with her. I think she'll do just fine. Just a little different, different, little different pin. Gosh, these horses are gonna be so tuned into the cow and, uh, you know, uh, really good cow sense. And that's gonna be something fun and different for me to experience. And I actually grew up, um, my dad owns cattle, so I have ridden my horses in and around cattle, but we've never, never done anything like this. You primarily use your right hand on the rein, is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Take your other hand and just lay it on top of the horn. Oh no, on top of the horn. Just oh, don't, okay. yeah, don't hold on to it, just lay it on top. And you'll actually want to push with the palm of your hand. Okay. <clears throat> just an opportunity to get the feel of that mare, kind of get some balance and timing. Okay, now when you get ready to when, when we're going to keep loping, go ahead and keep loping. When we get ready to stop, just want to put her heels down and rock her, rock her hips back a little bit. Just barely pick your hand up. When you, when you do so, when I say stop, well, just uh, elevate your rein hand softly, but push straight down on your hand that's on top of the horn. And that'll let your hips just kind of let your hips rock back a little bit. Okay, let's stop her right there with her hand. Whoa. Pull on her. Pick your hand up. Go ahead and pick your hand up. Good. Back her up a little bit more. Now turn and go the other way, please. Now release your legs. Now you get a little bit more feel of it. Yeah. Okay. Do that a couple times there. I'll get me a horse here and then we'll see what we get done. Okay. okay. I, I tell everybody when they come and cut, if they want, if they want to enjoy something, come and learn to cut. Because it's uh, it, there's no limit to what you can feel whenever you drive up out of the herd and you're confident in your riding and you put your hand down and that horse takes control of that cow and you just kind of go along with the pasture. As I'm loping around, and this will help you a little bit when you get on a cow, when I lope around, or when I'm working a cow and I'm going across that pen, I'll put my heels down and push on that horn and that'll get my stop. Of course, that horse is going to stop on the cow anyway. And I'll actually shift my weight off away from that cow just a, a, a little bit. I never lean into the cow with my hips on my shoulder. So you want that horse to stop straight right over his hocks, bring his nose and come through that turn. So it's important to, to try to stay in composure and run and hit that stop. And it's not too bad, maybe one or two long stops, but when it gets like turn around, turn around, turn around, well, it gets a little hard to keep yourself pushed back. Okay, so yeah. as the cow, as the horse is turning with the with cow, the cow. Yeah. I'll need to switch from in, outside in the stop, stirrup yeah. to, okay. When you go to your right side, just put a little, and I don't mean lean now, this is just a little amount of pressure, okay? okay. But it'll let that horse run and stop straight, and, and always keep your upper body right over the top of this horn. Okay. Push on that horn. Okay. Toes up and out at all okay. times, and push with it. And just like if I'm here and I'm gonna turn this horse around, I'm gonna ride right here, I'm gonna turn around with the cow or whatever, when, when I turn right here, I'm gonna turn my right foot out, push that horse around. So when he runs and stops, and I sit down, once he starts through that turn, then I'm gonna start with this leg, which is going to be my leg next to the cow. Okay. 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 And when you're on a cow, when you're working a cow, you run over there and stop, you never start your horse with that off leg. When you're sitting here and this cow's gonna move, you wait till that horse makes a definite move. Once he starts, then you're gonna bring this leg that's gonna be the leg that's next to your cow. So that forces him through the turn, and then if you need to go faster to keep up, you can use both feet. 
okay? Right. Maybe she's already stopping better. But she's an excellent rider, does very good, listens very well, very attentive. And uh, all she needs to do to make cutters is just do more of it. Up next, American Quarter Horse Journal writer Holly Clanahan chases the flag and realizes how fast these horses can move. Stay tuned. Every time a local business opens its doors or creates another laptop bag or hires another employee, it's not just good for business. It's good for the entire community. At Bank of America, we know the impact that local businesses have on communities. That's why we extended $6.4 billion in new credit to small businesses across the country last year. Because the more we help them, the more we help make opportunity possible. They strap on, so they ain't coming off. So. <laughs> she's dressed good. She's got her cowgirl hat on, and she's got her chaps on, and she's ready to go. Yeah, she looks like she, she, she is a real cowgirl, but she looks the part, too. But no, this is a different look for me. I'm not used to wearing chaps and a western hat, so it's, it's kind of fun. Your leg is made to work like this, right. left and uh, forward and backwards. But if you'll take that and turn it out, then you can, you, you can do two things. First of all, you can't hardly get your leg to fly back. And second of all, you'll be close to your horse to press your accelerator to go. Okay. So the more you keep your toes up and out, the more control you'll have of your body and the more control you'll have of those legs. Okay. And your timing will be a lot quicker. Okay. Well, let's just kind of come over here and we'll get on this up, up against this flag here a little bit. Uh, kind of come about in line where I'm at here. This morning we're going to uh, learn more about how to use her legs and when to use them and when to release them. And uh, we're going to start on the flag out here this morning because I can control it. And here in the beginning when we first start on this flag, I'll just get you to keep your hand up just a little bit and just help her till you get the feel of her. We're just going to go slow, okay? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Step her up into that flag with your hand and now ask her to go. Now stop right there. Now ask her to go with your right leg. Go with that cow. Press. Go, okay, rein her off a little. Good. Now go with that cow. Straight across. Now stop. Back up. Good. We'll just take a few passes here. Go use your left leg all the way across. Now keep up with that cow. Relax. Go all the way to your horse's head's about even with the flag. Okay. Yeah, not necessarily towards it, but now back a step right there. Okay, turn your toes out. Press your right leg. All the way across, come on, all the way across. Go even with that flag, you need to go further. Okay, now relax your leg, sit, sit back, relax your back, don't lean back. Round your back out a little bit. Okay. Okay, scoot your hips forward in that saddle a little bit and just relax your back, slump a little bit, like mom never said to do. Okay, now left foot, good. Now both feet, good. Hold her up in there, both legs, a little stronger. Okay, now relax, good. Now lower your hand, right leg. Now sit, you need to, Need to kick a little bit harder right there. Kick, come on, use your legs a little stronger. Lower your hand and sit, very good. Good, all the way across. Kick, 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 kick. Now sit. Okay, now like right there, that, you can feel the stop now, can't you? Yeah, right, yeah. Right there when you executed that turn was perfect. And then you got to uh, riding your horse there, but you needed to go a little quicker. Okay. So go ahead out of that turn. We need to be loping or are we okay at the trot? Go ahead and trot, and, and whatever okay. what it takes to keep up with that cow. Okay. Okay, because if you come out of the turn behind the cow, he's going to get faster and go all the way to wall or go around you. Okay. So you control that cow by getting back to the head of it as soon as possible, okay? okay. Nearly every time going that direction, you pick your hand up. Yeah. you got to learn to trust your horse, because that judge is going to get one point every time you pick your hand up. Oh, really? Pretty soon okay. you're going to owe him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm just, I'm afraid we're going to blow by the yeah. flag. Yeah, and if I you need do, be... that's okay. We'll pick her up, but let her make that mistake first. Okay. Make okay. sense to you? And it, you'll, the more cutting you do, it's kind of like going into your jumps and stuff. It's all timing. Right. Ride at the right time, set at the right time, and, and it'll get easier. I mean, you've not done it much and you're getting along very well. You know, the body position that you have to adopt in cutting is very different from what I'm used to. You have to kind of roll your back a little bit and slump. <laughs> which is what I've been trying not to do for most of my riding. Um, so I've got to kind of overcome that muscle memory there. Um, but I can definitely tell when you do get in the position that Teddy wants you in, you're a lot more secure and you can really make those turns better. And So there's a reason for that. Okay, watch that cow. Left foot, now sit. Leave that hand down. Very good. Push straight down on that horn. Left foot. Now relax. Very good. 
See it? Left foot. Now you got it going on. Time means everything. How you feel now? This is fun. Kind of fun, woman. <laughs> Kick. Now see it. Just tagging on the neck. Turn him around. Very good. You feel the difference here on that side? You hit that stop and he melted that ground and stayed right in that dirt. That was a very beautiful stop. Good. Credit earning stop. Oh my God, that is so much fun. <laughs> I feel really very privileged to ride horses like that. I mean, those, I was on three and they were absolutely phenomenal. This, this is addictive and I, Teddy may not get rid of me. <laughs> Up next on AQHA Presents, Holly Meets the Cows. It's time to step into the arena with Team Wrangler Cutter, Teddy Johnson. Stay tuned. Let's face it, you don't think a lot about your trailer hitch. You use it and forget it. We understand, but at B&W, we think about it. Short nights, the long hauls, the never-ending chores, the unthinkable. We think about it all, so you don't have to. B&W. Trusted. Welcome back. She's met her cutting horses and practiced on the flag. Now it's time for this American Quarter Horse Journal writer to enter the herd. I, well, I assume we're going to go to live cattle. And that's going to be really interesting because I, I know that's a whole other art of reading an actual animal and, you know, deciphering which way he's going to go. Cut fresh cows. A lot of people will sit out there and watch the cows, watch their, ha their habits, how quiet they are, how they act and you can actually get to where you can pick better cattle by doing that. Um, and then you, once you figure out which one you think are the best, <clears throat> you'll go down here when your two and a half minutes starts, you'll go down here to enter the herd and you'll try to maneuver and manipulate those cattle to be up on top and get one cut without a big hassle in the herd. <clears throat> I'm gonna let a cow in here in just a second and I want you to work this cow on the foot because, and we're gonna go slow, we'll put it back here so it'll be slow, but I want you to realize where you're at on that cow and how to stop it. And when you get to going in here, it's just kind of like playing basketball. You know, you run over there and this guy's dribbling down the court. And as long as you'll back up, you can get in front of him. But if you ever step up to him, he's gonna walk around you. Yes. So when you're cutting that cow, and that cow breaks good, if you can just take a step back and go get in front of him, step back, go get in front of him. But you gotta get all the way to the head, okay? So I'm gonna let you one cow in here and we'll, and we'll feel of him just okay. I promise you won't run a marathon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get you just to step slowly up into that cow. Now that cow's never been cut, never been worked. So he's a fresh cow, should have a lot of head. When you get in front of the eye, he should stop. Okay. So ease your way up into him <clears throat> and see if you can get that cow to go to that wall over there and stay. Okay. Up to the head now, all the way up to that head. See how you stopped him? Good, very good. Take your time, all the way across. Now go stop him, very good. Now you're getting a good feel for that cow. See, you're in front of the eye, he stops. He's a good cow to learn from. Now, if you jump at that cow and scare him, he's gonna get a lot quicker. Yeah. So it's really important, the quietness and the softness that you get your cows cut. Good, see, when you get in front of that eye, he stops, right? Yeah. Same thing you wanna do with your horse. Position that horse to the head of that cow. Now, now step to his shoulder right there and see if you can get him to walk to the other side of the pen. Now, not in front of him, too far ahead in front of him, right about to his shoulder. Watch his head now, up to him. Push, put a little pressure on him. Put a little pressure on him. Okay, good. Come on across, that's okay. Needed a faster horse. I know. No, but that was good. But you're what, what I wanted you to realize is what a difference you can make by the position that you're in. Mm -hmm. Like you got the head of that cow four or five times, he stopped every time. Yeah. And when you get to that point to where you have to push him out, like right there on your horse, just force him right up into that cow and drive him on up in there. Okay? Right. Kind of understand what I'm trying to show yeah. you there? Yeah, I do. That's how we're going to cut a cow. Now, we're going to put a herd in here, and we're going to drive up and let those cattle kind of fan out in front of us, and we're going to step up and cut what wants to stay for us. But remember, the way to get it to stay is to be in front of its head. Right. At a regular show, you'd have two people in the corner, and they'll talk to you. They'll tell you to drive up. They'll tell you what's fresh. Mind control is your best friend. Listen to what they say to you. Think about your moves, precise moves and practice winning ways. That's, 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 I always say that uh, winners do what losers don't choose to. So just like in your jumping or whatever you're doing, you have to focus on your job and your job only. Always ride your horse to the advantage. Control's the name of the game, precise, 
quiet, handle your herd quietly, manipulate those cows to where you want them. A lot of times <coughs> cattle will be coming around on the outside and they may be the one that you want. If you can get them to the outside, then you can just come up and meet on the top. Focus on your job. That's to get your cow cut, ride at the right time, and set at the right time. Okay, just like on that flag, it goes, you ride, when it, when it stops, you set, okay? Really simple. I'm gonna be here where I can talk to you. You just, you just walk right on down there. Well, I think it's gonna be easier for me because these horses know their jobs, and all I have to do is stay out of their way for the most part, so, um, yeah, I just have to stay on and stay out of their way, and <laughs> we're good. Up next, with the help of Team Wrangler's Teddy Johnson, this magazine writer is going to cut some cows for the first time in her life. Stay tuned. Every time a local business opens its doors, or creates another laptop bag, or hires another employee, it's not just good for business. It's good for the entire community. At Bank of America, we know the impact that local businesses have on communities. That's why we extended $6.4 billion in new credit to small businesses across the country last year. Because the more we help them, the more we help make opportunity possible. Keep driving up. Be aggressive right there. You need to drive up. Come on up. Come on up. Get over here to the head, remember? Get over here to the head. Over here to the head. Now, now drop your hand right there. Focus your job, ride and set, leave your hand down. If you want her up there, kick. Now relax. Now kick. Kick again. Every time, kick and get away. Get away from her, no. Don't be picking your hand up, quit leaning back. Okay, let's stop right there, stop. The cut was good. I should have had them bring you more cows on that cut, because we didn't give you much, but that was a good cut. You got it cut good. And when you get one cow like that, only one cow, just keep driving forward. Okay, you get up out of there a little further. You were pretty close, but that's okay. But get, it don't cost anything to drive up. And if you pick up a cow, it's three points, so drive on up. Now we're gonna bring you more cows this time, and we're gonna get you up out of there. First three turns every time you've done this. Get a hold of that blanket when you drop your hand, okay? Okay, and the second two things you've done was this. Don't lean back. Sit. Way to your left. Now push up. As long as they walk up, you walk up. Keep walking up. In front of one of these cows over here. Hold on. Now slow down. Slow down. Look other. We're not going to cut a paint. Step up into your cows. Up into your cows. Up into your cows some more. Slowly. Now wait right there just a second. Be patient. Look at everything that's standing still. Everything that's down, face up there, face up in there. Step up into your black cow right up in there or the red baldy. Up here, up here. No, up, up, not over there, up here. Up into that cow, up into his head. Now drop your hand right there. Toes out, push back, push back. Push back. Get your, get your weight on that off stirrup. Left foot, kick. Now sit straight down. Now leave your hand down. That's not your job. It's your job to kick over here and you didn't do it, okay? Wait on her. Now relax, stop your horse, stop. Okay, now, now, now go ahead with your cow, cross the pin. Show her, kick her across. Now relax right there. Okay, relax. When that cow goes, do not lean forward, use your legs. Kick, left foot, kick. Now relax. That's where you need to be on both sides of the head. You don't, you need to kick her over there. Now, right foot, kick, come on. Good, be aggressive, relax, set and wait. Wait for that cow to create that turn. You focus on your job and that's riding to the head. Kick, kick, now relax, kick, now relax. Very good, timing's everything. Now I'm not gonna tell you, but you kick, come on. Don't be, don't be timid. Come on, come on. Sit, now kick, sit, kick, come on. Very good, stop right there. Wait, wait to let cow stop, wait till he turns away, stop. Right there, quit. Pick your hand up. When I say quit, pick your hand up. That was absolutely amazing. These guys are incredibly athletic. It's, um, it moves so fast. It, will, it absolutely amazes me how fast these guys can move and just get stay underneath themselves, and they're incredible. Now kick now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kick now. Don't lean your shoulders back. Set straight. Okay, kick right there. Kick. Legs out and a stop. Kick again. Kick again. Kick hard, come on. Kick hard. Left foot, come on. 
and you turn around, set still. Back up, back up, step up into your cow. Come on up. Kick hard, come on, come on, stop that cow. Very good, stop that cow. Set, now come back. Quit right there, that's legal quit. Cow stop, okay. <clears throat> when that cow takes the first move, you're not riding, you're staying behind. So kick up a little, don't overdo it, but every time you turn around, like see, you come here good, you come there good, and then when you come back over here, you didn't go stop the cow and it pushed you back in the corner. Now kick hard, come on, do it again, do it again, come on, come on. All right, very good. Kick hard. Now you're getting it. When that cow stops, quit right there. Very good. That's the start of a winning run right there. But see, you stop the cow both sides. Okay. If you go over there, you got to stop it. And when you turn around, you got to stop it on the other side. Yeah. If you stay behind, it's just going to go across the pin. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. How was that? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's just very different from what I'm used to. Um, everything from the body position to how the horse feels, um, you know, it's just there's a lot of differences. Um, but Teddy's horses are so well trained. They've got so many buttons and they're so responsive. They're just an absolute joy to ride. So I feel very privileged. Uh, I'm really impressed with the way she took those turns really well. There's some big turns through there and never bothered her a bit. And uh, I think in a few days we'd go show. Anybody who tries this for the first time is going to be really surprised. Um, you know, when you watch it on TV like I have, you see it and it looks fast. But no, it's fast. <laughs> And it's a matter of actually what we're saying, learn your job. Kick when you need to kick, set when you need to set, step up and cut your cows at the right time. And those are things that are very easy to learn. They're not easy to remember, because in the heat of that battle down there, when you're going across there fast and that horse stops, you're thinking, oh, I forgot to stop. It doesn't matter if you've ever ridden a horse before, if you just rode for pleasure or whatever, you can learn to cut. Awesome. Done an excellent job. Excellent Thank job, you. your riding's good. It's just a matter of timing, getting used to the terminology, and getting used to how to control those cows. Uh -huh. Okay? Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This has I'm been proud very of you. Fun. you a great job. Thank you so much. I got a feeling you'll be back. I, I, you're right. I bet you are right. <laughs> I think I am. He's got an empty stall and good shavings in there. That's all I need. <laughs> Thank anybody that's been on a cutting horse, even if it's just for a turn or two on a flag, that, that just didn't feel excitement they've never felt with anything else. Thanks for watching What's It Like to Cut with Team Wrangler's Teddy Johnson. We'll see you next time on AQHA Presents.